All right. So <clears throat> we were talking about the um, hydraulic cylinder that we've modified to have these holes in the hydraulic cylinder wall. Then we talked about doing some engineering to place a ceramic insert into these holes so that the cylinder, once again, becomes a structure that is waterproof and you can put pressure in it. And <clears throat> the next uh, step that we want to look at is the, uh, as we've drawn here, and these are <clears throat> sort of stylistic drawings in the sense that um, they're not really representations of what real structures would look like. One of the structures that we've uh, placed above the hydraulic cylinder is this linear array of little red boxes. And <clears throat> these um, little red boxes are our way of portraying a transceiver. And a transceiver is a device that <clears throat> can transmit and receive radio wave energy. In addition, this device not only creates and sends out radio waves, or conversely, when it's acting as a receiver, it senses or detects or notices that radio waves are present. This device also has uh, the ability to encode information into the radio waves. That is, it modulates the radio waves to put data into the radio waves when it is transmitting <clears throat> and to remove or separate out data from radio waves when it is receiving. And <clears throat> this linear array, as we've shown here, is a set of these transceivers that exist in a line separated by metal. And these transceivers are arranged so that they can transmit and receive energy or radio frequency information in a directional type of a fashion. Um, and we're going to demonstrate that in more detail <clears throat> over here where we have separated out the transceivers all by themselves. And the, these structures are so small, you can see that the computer program keeps losing them, and that is because we have the problem of taking macro-sized structures, macro-sized structures, to which <clears throat> is added to the macro-sized structure an even smaller ceramic structure to which is added in association or in opposition to or next to the even smaller ceramic structures are even smaller transceivers. And it just is a complexity of the drawing program that it can get a little mixed up as we go back and forth between these various different sizes of structures. <clears throat> 